the entire world follows the Christian calendar, right? We're, we all agree it's year 2024. We use the year zero. Jesus is dead, right? His birth? Jesus' is birth. Yeah. <laughs> as, 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 well, because Je- <laughs> there's a really simple answer to this. What? Because Jesus existed in all of the religions. But even though other religions don't worship him as the deity, they do acknowledge that he a, he definitely 100% did exist. And he, not only did he exist, even though we believe in a different deity, this deity is important enough that we agree that it's year 2024. I just find that interesting. Do you, do you have any explanation on like, wow, how we all came to this consensus? <laughs> I think it just shows why so many historians, it's like consensus that he was the most impactful historical figure bar none. Yep. They'd say Buddha, your Buddha statue, like that. <laughs> He's gone. Buddha was like number two, but uh, so you were close. Yeah, you were close there. Like. <laughs> but I, I, so I think just again, it, it gets back to the impact. And I love Mike. I didn't know that you knew that because I didn't know that until real recent. It, how Jesus is the only religious commonality, literally commonality, but also every single religion looks at Jesus in a positive way. Mm. No other historical figure even comes close mm-hmm. to transcending that and being in every holy book and. So I think that says something as well, just the impact. For sure. I'm just always fascinated by that. Yeah. Like, like we're, we're here we are, like, currently warring over what we believe in. Yeah. I mean, we all agree that Jesus was born on this day, and we decided to structure the entire world's calendar around that. Right. It's merit in that. Again, is it schizophrenic? Just pulled off. No, I don't think so, man. I don't think <laughs> so. Could have been. I don't know. Dude.